Today, we're going to be reading Mythic Dawn Commentaries Volume 2. Um, if you want to watch the first one, I'll link it up in the cards in the description below. But let's get into it! Oblivion, books, and reading and stuff. Whosoever fiddleth this document, I call him brother. Answers are liberations, where the slaves of Maboj that came to know Numantia cast down their jailer king, Mastiak, which the Zarsi's Mysterium calls the Arkin. Mastiak, whose carcass was dragged through the streets by his own bone walkers, and whose flesh was opened on rocks, thereon and those angels who loved him no longer did drink from his honeyed eaker, screaming, let all know free will, and do as they will. Your coming was foretold, my brother, by the Lord Dagon in his Book of Razors. You are to come as idols drop away from you one by one. You are exalted in eyes that have not yet set on you. You swain to well-traveled, to shatterer of mantles. You, brother, are to sit with me in paradise and be released of all unknowns. Indeed, I shall show you his book and its foul and many-feathered rubric so that you can put into symbols what you already know. The sphere of destruction is but the milk of the unenslaved. I fault not your stumbling, for they are expected and given grace by the oils. I crave not your downfalls, though without them you might surpass me even in the coming earth of all infinities. Lord Dagon wishes you no ills but the momentous. And as he wants, you must want, and so learn from the pages of God this, the ritual of want. Whisper to earth and earth where the meddlers take no stones except to blood, as blood is blood, and to the cracking of bone, as bone is bone. And so to crack an answer and fall before the one and one, I call you dragon as brother and king. Hides of drow, seven and seven, drought of oil, one and one, circles drawn by wet debilities. Three concentric and let their lower blood Fall where it may, a birth watched by black fir birds, hearth fire first. And can't the following when your hearing becomes blurred. In ruptured, he who finally goes unrecorded, recorded the slaves that without knowing turn the wheel, enslaved all the children of Arbus as it is. So this one was very short. It's basically kind of like a ritual and telling you more and more that you're going to be free. It's kind of like, it's a very short book, but it elaborates on being free and reminds you how you should follow Dagon. That's really what the book does. It just reminds you, hey, you should be following Dagon. You know, follow Dagon. It's basically, if you summarize this book, all it's really saying is follow Dagon, follow Dagon, follow Dagon, like over and over and over again. But it kind of reminds you more. It's assuming that you're already sucked in and you're going to follow it, right? That's really what the third Mythic Dawn Commentaries book is. Um, pretty interesting. Very, very kind of weird to read. And it's interesting that it's kind of like, it's very short compared to the other one. The other one was like an introduction. This is like, all right, time to be a worshiper. So... Let me know what you think about it in the comments below, guys. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed, you can also tell me that in the comments. Subscribe if you're new for more Oblivion book readings. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you in the next episode of Stream Vlog or Steam It Post of whatever I decide to make.